At SUSE, we wanted to understand how IT leaders across the globe were using technology to continue supporting their innovation programs. After a year in which COVID-19 has upturned economies, industries and organizations, we decided to take a closer look at the approaches being used to get innovation back on track. We surveyed more than 800 IT leaders from around the world to explore which technology approaches were giving them the confidence they need to power their recovery through 2021 and beyond. Our report titled, Why Today's IT Leaders Are Choosing Open, outlines the must-have technologies that are now underpinning innovation. These technologies are now essential for enabling IT leaders to simplify IT management, modernize their technology infrastructure, and accelerate business operations. The key finding from our research indicates that IT leaders are under even more pressure to deliver tangible outcomes for the business than they were last year. The good news is the majority of organizations seem to have identified the disruption over the past 12 months as an opportunity. In fact, 60% of respondents indicated that COVID-19 has accelerated tech innovation within the organizations. At the same time, business continuity is more important than ever. This is reflected in the continuing pressure on IT leaders to deliver non-stop IT and infrastructure stability. Likewise, the need to compromise between costs and outcomes is still a major factor in their decision making. When asked about their biggest technology challenges, security and remote access infrastructure remain high on the list. These were followed by the usual pressures to reduce operational costs while still maintaining service availability and performance. We also wanted to understand where IT leaders were prioritizing their technology investments in the next 12 months. Simplifying how the business is run remains the most important investment pillar, followed by modernization and accelerating change. We then asked IT leaders to identify the tech approaches they were using to support their investment pillars. Unsurprisingly, multi-cloud strategy topped the list, but was followed closely by high-performance computing, 5G connectivity, DevOps, AI, and edge computing. Across Asia, Pacific, and Japan, we have seen a variety of results that indicate differing approaches to innovation and technology investment. Australia and New Zealand have the highest percentage of IT leaders who are skeptical about the involvement of big tech players in this field. In this region, the tech approaches seen as most important in supporting their key investment pillars are multi-cloud strategy, democratization of technology, high-performance computing, edge computing, and container management. Japan has felt the least increase in pressure to deliver tangible outcomes in the past 12 months. In this region, the tech approaches seen as most important in supporting their key investment pillars are multi-cloud strategy, 5G and enhanced connectivity, high-performance computing, and automated AI. A high percentage of organizations in Singapore agree that open source enables innovation at the edge. Singapore also has the joint highest percentage of organizations currently running containers for production workloads. In this region, the tech approaches seen as most important in supporting their key investment pillars are multi-cloud strategy, moving from proprietary software to open source, DevOps automated AI, and edge computing. Due to the impact of the pandemic on organizations' technology needs, IT leaders have now been thrust into the spotlight. They need to harness the power of new technologies and tools to simplify IT management, modernize their infrastructure ecosystem, and accelerate innovation. Despite there being many technologies available to help IT leaders to simplify, modernize and accelerate, we'll be focusing on the four of the most impactful one in this ongoing series, that is container management, multi-cloud strategy, edge computing, and moving from proprietary software to open source. To find out more, you can download the free Insight Avenue report from our website today. 
Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again for the second episode of this series where I will be unpacking the benefits of containers.